to today. We're here for the week one AGM school essay. And uh, we're doing some studying. And this week, God bless you, we want to let you know that we're studying on this. What does this mean to you? Well, the Lord put upon my heart that this is a doctor's office. If you guys can come closer and see this. A doctor's office waiting room that is empty. What God is telling me when, in prayer that we're studying on is that uh, an empty doctor's office is like an empty church. Because to go to a doctor's office, is, it means that we have a problem that we need to get well off of. It might be sickness. It might be a hurt. It might be something that we need. But it also and refers into a church, what it means to me. When we go to church, it doesn't mean that, yes, we can go to church if we're happy. We just want to praise God. But there's a lot of people that go to receive what God has for them in store. Maybe they're hurt inside. Yes, again, maybe they need a healing. A lot of people just go to church because they have a problem spiritually that they need to get fixed. Therefore, we're going to read out of the Bible and a few scriptures as telling us, what does this say? Because even though, no matter what, Jesus Christ is still the great physician. Amen? I'm reading out of the NLT in Mark chapter 2, verse 17 says this. When Jesus heard this, he told them, healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. It's a big thing what the Lord is saying because he's telling the disciples and the people this because he didn't only come for the people who are righteous, the people who have everything, the people who are blessed. Yes, God is for us. No one could be against us. God is for the righteous because in him we are righteous. We are blessed. But what he's saying is he came for the sinners, the people who are hurt. Because he's talking about a doctor right here. There's people that are sick in this world and it doesn't have to be uh, physically sick. It could be spiritually sick, depressed, angry, uh, hurt. Um, things that are wrong, that something in them that they need God. Therefore, what I'm trying to say is back into this picture is this looks like an empty waiting room. There's doctors back there to help, but there's nobody here. Could it be that people are home just worrying about their own self-pity? Spiritually, they need help. Physically, they need help. But that's what God is for. We need to continue to look into our Bibles and see what God has in store for us. There's many promises. There's many healings that Jesus does for us. Every single day, every moment, every minute. But we need to look for that. Because if we don't look, we'll never know. And we can get stuck in that problem, in that worry, in that sickness. And what will we accomplish? Nothing. But there is a church where we can go. Even if we don't read this word, the word is still spoken every day. That's the meaning of this. We need to get back to the first love. We need to get back to Jesus Christ. Because it says right here, He came not for only just the righteous, but He came for the sinner. So therefore, we as sinners can come to Jesus Christ to receive what He has in store for us. Forgiveness, health, peace, prosperity, love. All these things are promised by Him. We have another scripture that we want to look into. Give me a second. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, it says, And let us not neglect our meetings together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now, that the day of his return is drawing near. It says that let us not neglect our, our people, our meetings together. It's talking about the church. Why neglect the, the church? 
Because God's word is there. We need to receive that. It's open for everyone. It doesn't have to be an empty place like this. Because this is just a building. But an empty building, it will be empty without people in it. But when we come together, that's what makes it the church. A, a place filled with believers that pray and worship and receive God's word to go out, to be healed, to be blessed, and to receive. Because without people, it's just a building again. So it says, don't neglect that, because, I'll read it again. And let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now, that the day of his return is drawing near. It says he's coming back. The day is drawing near. We need to get build it up, and we need to be blessed. We need to receive his word. We need to receive what he has in store for us. So... We need not to neglect our meetings together in his house. Amen? We need to go back to church. No matter where your church is at, we need to be back in church. Because that's where we're fed. We have one more scripture that we need to go to. The way we need to get back to this point. Number one, we need to get into church. Because that's where God wants us to be. Number two, we need to stay in our word to receive these blessings. Because that's where his word is at. That's where his blessings are. We can't do it on our own. But God has many things in store for us, many promises to take us out of this sickness, out of this depression, out of this sin. God has it all right here. Every blessing, every word, every promise. That's number two. Number three is he's waiting for us. It doesn't have to be an empty place. It says it here, Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Right there is a promise that it says, he'll give you rest no matter what your problem is. If we can look to that word and really focus on it and pray on it, Jesus is giving a promise. I will give you rest no matter what your problem is. He has a great promise and blessing for you. It could be whatever your needs are. Financially, spiritually, physically, healthily, mentally, any blessing. He has a promise to give you rest. And that is for sure. For the Lord saying that in his word. Amen? That's the key. Seek God and he will give you rest. Let's go to another But he was wounded 